So this is going to be a three-part video series on how to grow your barber business in 2024. Now, part one is going to be about marketing. Part two is going to be about finances. And part three is going to be on mindset. So marketing as a barber in 2024 is all about social media and content. And the first point of content is starting with a good idea. Basically, an idea is just what the video is about. Think about if I was to ask you to explain like what the movie The Matrix is all about in just one sentence. Now, that's what an idea is. Now, if you look at barber content on social media, everybody's just posting about the idea of look at me cut hair not a great idea because even the sound of that doesn't entice me or interest me to even watch more of the video so what's a better idea basically my client just got a beard transplant six months ago and this is his first time getting his beard cut now that is an interesting idea because what it does is pose a lot of questions that need to be answered when the person watches the video questions could be like you know how full and natural does the beard look now does he have any scarring or can i tell at the very end if the beard is like fake or not again a great idea poses a lot of great questions the viewer is required to watch the video to get answered and i'm not some sort of like social media genius i literally got this from like watching mr beast videos and kind of like studying his process and how he thinks about making viral videos and if you don't know who mr beast is he's literally just the most successful youtuber in youtube history and he said all he does with like about 90 percent of his time is just come up with great ideas that's it i mean he even goes as far as like employing an entire team and department just to come up with ideas for youtube so if mr beast someone who spends upwards of like a million dollars per youtube video spends most of his time first creating the idea i think there's some kind of importance with this to be quite honest with you now here's some simple mistakes a lot of people make with ideas a lot of people just try to come up with an idea on their own trying to pull it like out of thin air basically think about it like this if i told you to bake the world's best tasting cake and i would give you a million dollars if you did so but you had no idea how to bake a cake would you really try to come up with a recipe on your own to win or would you just simply i don't know like look up the best recipes on google and kind of just mimic and copy that recipe now hopefully you chose the recipe route because otherwise you just kind of have a terrible tasting cake so here's how you come up with ideas first and this is going to sound so backwards you're going to have to consume a lot of content without the intention of actually studying or mimicking or learning from that content just like be a content consumer now when you're consuming that content and you find yourself stuck on a video watching it and so enticed by it you just simply have to ask yourself one thing what is the idea of this video once you come up with whatever the idea is in that video then you need to think of like how you can translate this into barber content now you might be thinking like dude daniel i can't even find videos to like study it all and that's valid because most people's explore pages are filled with like meme pages or sports pages just i don't know just nonsense overall and heading into 2024 you need to start looking at your explore page as an opportunity to grow your business now the way that i looked at my explore page when i was cutting hair and the same thing that i have all of our private clients looking at their pages is if it's not helping you build or grow the business then you should just not watch it or not consume it. And the main thing I always try to get across to all of our private clients is any content that doesn't help you grow the business is simply just a distraction and almost like keeping you away from your goals because it's more like entertainment than actual learning. And again, I said, I know I said at the beginning, like make sure you don't go in this with a learning phrase, but every single piece of content that you should be watching should be at least helping you grow uh towards your ultimate goal now if you find content on your social media page or explore page that honestly you know is more of like a distraction all you have to do is simply tap the three dots at the top right of any post and you can there's literally a button right there that you can click that says not interested and instagram will just like make that thing disappear now it's not like a one-time fix you have to clean up your explore page over and over and over again with posts like this but over a period of time instagram will recognize that you don't want to see this type of content anymore and if you click and watch content that helps you grow the business, Instagram will notice that and be like, ah, serve this person more content like this. And sooner or later, you're gonna have an explore page filled with just like great ideas, great content to then utilize in your business. Now you really wanna be studying or trying to come up with new ideas on the explore page. I would recommend at least two hours every single day because at that point, again, to you take two hours a day, that's 60 hours a month overall. At that point in time, you should have some pretty decent ideas to create some content with. Now that the idea thing's out of the way and we've handled that, we also have to now get people to watch the video. And at this point, I know some of you are like, well, Daniel, like does this even work like does this have any merit to it like what do you have to show for this and to simply put this is exactly what we've taught our private clients that work with us in my company the new era barbering barbers like henry hong alexi michael south bay chris jay faded aka it goes by joel now cam doe greg tough anna m ivan josh and that's just to name a few and these are all barbers who we've helped scale up to 20k a month or charge upwards of 100 bucks plus for haircut 
by just doing this simple process of marketing their business online. And they all start exactly where you're at right now, not knowing how to post, not knowing how to generate new clients off social media. And I say all that because I know if they can do it, the same could be said for you. So to get somebody to actually watch your video, they first have to click on your video. And if you're posting IG reels, there's only really two ways that people can click or watch your video. Either scrolling through reels, watching it on their phone, your video tends to pop up, or they click on your non-playable video from that explore page. The first way means when somebody hits your video, they're deciding in like the first two to three seconds whether this video is worth watching all the way through or maybe they should just keep on scrolling to find something different. The second way somebody can find your video is basically if they just click on the cover on that explore page. So here's some key points on how to have an engaging first three seconds to your videos. The key to having an engaging first three seconds of your video is just to know what content vehicle you're posting. For example, anything that's using a voice, whether it be AI or your voice, the first three seconds of that video is gonna be what your main focus is on, which is basically the hook. So how do you even create a good hook? Well, you start from a good idea. Once you have a great idea, then you need to think, what is the first thing I need to say that would make somebody want to watch the rest of the video inside of that first three seconds? Which of these hooks are better? What are we doing today? Or my client got a beer transplant six months ago, and this is the first time he's lining up his beer. Obviously the second one, because already I'm having a million different thoughts and questions pop in my head that would make me and force me to watch the whole entire video. Now, a good rule of thumb is any bad hook is simply created from a bad idea. And a really great idea can create a million great great hooks as well. My client got a beard transplant six months ago and he wants a faded beard for the first time. Literally endless hooks and we can keep on going on and on, but hopefully you get the idea. Now for any content that isn't using your voice, the action or whatever's happening on screen has to grab their attention. To grab attention, honestly, the easiest thing to do is just do actions on screen that are quote unquote satisfying. And let's be honest, as borrowers, like watching our haircut process naturally happen, just isn't regularly satisfying. And honestly, the majority of your viewers will not be barbers who just want to learn a step-by-step -step process or hair tutorial. So to hack this, we just hack what people already naturally watch, which is satisfying videos. I mean, people watch like soap videos all day long, drawing videos all day long. I've even seen like a page that blows up with like lawn mowers and lawn care stuff. It's just satisfying to see like an overgrown lawn be trimmed up nicely. Now, when you watch videos like this that are satisfying, you also have to keep in mind that what they're doing on screen is not what they typically do in their process. They're exaggerating it. You just really want to think like, you know, what do actors do in a movie? They over exaggerate their emotions. They over exaggerate their actions to make it look more entertaining to watch on screen. Even right there with my hand movements, my face movements, I was even over exaggerating my you know, emotions on screen. It makes it so much more enjoyable to watch. Now we need to do the same thing with our barber videos. Now, if you see any barber who's, you know, getting viral views with their posts on social media, and you're just like wondering how the heck they're doing this thing, just understand this. That's not how they cut in person. They are literally just doing that for the camera. And not only is that perfectly fine, but it also works. Now here's how to do this. A simple mindset shift that I should tell all of our clients is number one, don't think like a barber. So don't go through your haircut process. Instead, focus on the amount of hair that's falling off the client instead of focusing more on like, you know, your hand movement or the tool being, you know, moved a certain way. Just all that matters in satisfying video is the hair falling off because you can move your hand as fast as you want to. You can do all the things you want, but if there's nothing falling off, it just doesn't look that engaging to watch overall. Now, here's how you wanna do this on your client. First, you wanna look at your client and identify what the most amount of hair is going to be falling off, regardless of the haircut process that you do. Now, this might be like debulking the lineup, shaving the beard, you know, cutting the top with shears overall, clipper over combing. Next, you wanna record that action first before you do anything else. Then you wanna to proceed to just, you know, cutting hair the way you actually would until you identify what the next most amount of hair is gonna be falling off. And then it's just a simple rinse and repeat method to be quite honest with that. It's like cut the hair off, record it, continue the process of hair cutting, identify what the most amount of hair cutting off is next and then record that process until you get to the end of the video. Now, the second way somebody can watch your video is if they click on it from the explore page. Now, the only way somebody will click on a non-playable video is if that cover piques their interest. And basically, if you don't know what a cover is, it's like the little preview that you select to show people what the video is about before you select it from like an image or you can upload a photo. Now, there's two ways to make a clickable cover. First is gonna be the text that you put on the screen is gonna entice somebody to actually want to click the video and watch the whole thing through. Now, think about it like this. If you just saw a cover on the explore page and the title or like the little text on screen just said like haircut and that's it would you click on that video to watch it 
Probably not. But what if you saw a video with a guy with a perfectly looking beard, all nice and chiseled up, and the text on screen said, my client got a beard transplant. I'm already intrigued by that because there's like questions that pop up in my mind, like what did he look like before the haircut? What did he look like before the beard transplant? Was the beard transplant noticeable? And those are questions that can only be answered if I click and actually watch the whole video. Again, I'm driving this point home just so you guys are all clear. This all starts from a great idea. A great idea creates a great hook. A great hook creates a great cover. A great cover creates a lot of people watching the video. A bad idea creates a bad hook, which creates a bad cover, which equals no one's watching a video. And if your content on social media has been struggling, I'm willing to bet this is the thing that you've just spent zero time on. But the best part about this is it's the easiest to fix if you put all your focus into it. Now, the second way to make a clickable cover is have an action that looks satisfying with lots of hair falling off. Now, just imagine if you took a cover with a client with short hair, nothing else, no tool in the video, you're not cutting the hair, and that was just the cover, would that entice you to click on that video? No, because nothing in your mind is popping up with questions or anything that piques your interest whatsoever. Now think about if you had a cover with a client in your chair who has been growing out the hair for eight plus months and you had a clipper going down the middle of their forehead with a one guard and you can clearly see there's already been hair cut off all the way down to that one guard and everything else is in the eight month grow out process. Would you click on that video over the other one? Absolutely. Why? Because there's a huge difference going on. You know it's not fake because you can already see the hair being cut off right there. And there's a huge satisfying transformation going on that I honestly want to see all the way to the end because it poses a few questions. What does he look like with short hair? Does he look better with long hair or short hair? Did the barber even do a good job? And that is what gets people to click and watch the whole video. Again, for this one, great actions create great covers. Bad actions create bad covers. So by now we've covered the idea. We've covered how to get somebody to actually click on your video. Now, how do we get that person that watches your video to actually convert into a new client? Well, we do that through what I like to call showcasing. And a showcase is just simply the end product of your haircut. Because a client will not book with you because of your great idea. They won't book with you because of great hook or great actions or great covers. They book with you because the end product looks good, that they are willing to give money to you to get that same product done onto them. But everything I just mentioned, idea, hook, cover, actions, all are important because that all leads up to them watching them in the video. If they don't get to the end of the video, they don't become a book client. So what should you showcase? You simply just want to do one haircut and one skill set, which I like to identify as the weapon in business. Now you might be saying like, but Daniel, I need to show off like every single haircut, every single style that I do and like need to show that I can cut every single person possible. Here's an example. If you were to open a simple online store and you had to market your business online in order to get new clients to buy your product of whatever you're selling, what would you want to do from a strategic standpoint? Would you want to be the business that sells baby formula, women's makeup, dog food, garage tools, and men's clothing? Or would you just want to be the business that only focuses on one thing? Because in business and in marketing, you want 100% of your attention focused on one thing versus like, let's say 10 things. For visual purposes, let's say you have a goal of filling up buckets with dirt. Just follow me on this, okay? Now, every single bucket that you have, you have to fill up equally. And you only have one single bucket worth of dirt to use. And it's literally the same size as all the others. If you had 10 buckets with only one bucket of dirt to fill all of those buckets, each bucket would only be getting 10% of the dirt. Basically, in this experiment, you would fail because none of the buckets would be full at all. But if you just have one bucket, you could literally just dump one bucket into the next and be 100% full and win. I know it's a silly game to win, but just follow me, okay? It's an example. Now that we have the haircut thing situated, I know there's a few of you that still might be saying like, but Daniel, like, I need to be showing up like every single skill set that I have and like I'm so good at like styling hair and beards and lineups and like wave cuts and styles and just chill. Wait a second, okay? If you were to show off to the market of social media or just a market in general that you're good at sheer work, waves, beards, lineups, men's hair, women's hair, dog's hair, baby's hair, whatever else hair that you can think of, your market would literally not know what to go to you for. If all you posted on social media was just crispy beard lineups, it makes it so much clearer to the market. Like, this is what this guy is good at. If I want a crispy beard lineup, I go to this guy. Think of a barber like Mr. Official. Now, when you think of Mr. Official, you think of like, if you need a beard sculpt or straight razor shave and you're in the Chicago area, Mr. Official's your guy. Or just think Josh LaMonica. If I want some unique sheer cut style and I'm in the UK, I'm going to Josh LaMonica. 
Really what I wanna highlight is the power of focus marketing is what allows you to generate new clients at a very high rate. Again, just think 100% focused on one thing or 10% focused on 10 things. Awesome, so now we have the idea, how to get somebody to watch your video, how to get somebody to click your video, how to get somebody to convert as a new client through your video. Now the question is, when should you post? In simple terms, every single day. To put it simply, if you're playing a game where if you rolled a six on a dice, you would win a million dollars, but you only get one roll every single day and only one roll, would you roll that dice every single day? Absolutely. So why would you not do the same with your business? Why would you not take that chance every single day to push your business forward and get your business known by more people so you can make more money? Now, I know that might be very daunting for everybody here. Like, oh my God, I have to post every single day. The first question that comes up is, how do I make enough content to be able to post every single day? And it's honestly very simple. You just have to create a rule that you record two haircuts every single day. Record the haircut before your lunch break and record the very last haircut of your day. That way, you're not gonna be running late on any other haircuts because you have those time buffers of lunchtime and end of day take as long as you want on each of the videos and each of the haircuts. If you cut five days out of the week, that means 10 videos every single week if you follow that rule. There's only seven days every single week, which means you have three extra videos to post every single week, meaning you'll have enough content to post every single day, plus some on the back end. Now that you know how to market to get new clients in the business overall, the next step is finances, which is gonna cover price raises, your current price point, money management, as well as how to save more money each and every single month so you see your bank account grow, which you can learn in this video right here.